And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Magnosaurus, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon Discord. So thanks. Magnosaurus was a megalosaurid, megalosauroid theropod <laughs> that lived in the Middle Jurassic and what is now England in the inferior oolite group. It looked like other theropods. It walked on two legs. It had a long snout with sharp teeth. It had a long tail. It's considered to be small-bodied. Gregory Paul estimated it to be about 13.1 feet or 4 meters long and weigh 386 pounds or 175 kilograms. But Roger Benson estimated the hip to be just over 3.3 feet or 1 meters tall and said that Magnosaurus was probably similar in body mass to Nitskisaurus, which is estimated to be around 900 pounds or 450 kilograms. But this couldn't be confirmed because the weight bearing limb bones of Magnosaurus were too poorly preserved for comparison. So relatively small for a theropod, but not as small as like a Deinonychus or something. Yeah. Now, only fragments of Magnosaurus have been found. And in the past, Magnosaurus had actually been included with Megalosaurus, which isn't too surprising. It's <laughs> a wastebasket tax or Megalosaurus was a wastebasket taxon, meaning a lot of different dinosaurs were thought to be megalosaurus mm -hmm. at one point. If it's a theropod that was discovered over 100 years ago, there's a good chance that it was called megalosaurus at some point. Yeah. And now Friedrich von Huhn in 1923 named megalosaurus nethercomensis based on a partial skeleton, so partial lower jaws, vertebrae, part of the pubis and leg bones, from possibly a juvenile. There were also some broken adult teeth and emerging teeth found in the lower jaws. Then he named Megalosaurus lidecari based on a tooth, and he named that in 1926. And it was based on a tooth that Richard Lidecker had described in 1888. Naming things based on teeth. Yes. Always a great idea. <laughs> But then in 1932, von Huhn renamed Megalosaurus nethercomensis to Magnosaurus nethercomensis and referred Megalosaurus lidecari to it as Magnosaurus lidecari. He also named a third species, Magnosaurus woodwardi, based on a tibia, but he accidentally named both Magnosaurus woodwardi and Sarcosaurus andrewsi based on the same bone in the same 1932 paper. <laughs> it's like he had a rough draft with one name and then realized, oh, wait, no, I should assign it to this existing genus, but forgot to like reread it. Yeah, something, there was an error there. This is before we had, you know, the ability to search and the find and replace feature in Word. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, in 1956, the name... Sarcosaurus andrusi stuck for that particular tibia, and Hune referred it all to Sarcosaurus. And also Magnosaurus woodward eye slash Sarcosaurus andrusi. They had, there was a lot of differences in how the bones look compared to Magnosaurus nethercomensis, and those two species also lived at least 20 million years apart. Uh, I see. So now the type and only species for Magnosaurus is Magnosaurus nethercomensis. Woodward eye is now. Sarcosaurus, Sarcosaurus, but not even Woodward Eye. You said it's Andrew's Eye. Yeah. <laughs> and Megalosaurus Lidecari is now considered to be a nomum dubium, a doubtful name. Yeah. Is that the one named on the tooth? Yes. Yeah. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> so the genus name Magnosaurus means large lizard. It wasn't even that large of a lizard. Didn't you say it was like 12 feet long <laughs> or large of a dinosaur? I guess it'd be large for a lizard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is a large lizard. <laughs> Except it's not a lizard. Now, until the 1990s, Magnosaurus was thought to basically be a Megalosaurus species. Again, that wastebasket taxon. But there's some differences in the bones, like in the tibiae, the lower leg bone. In 2003, Oliver Raut suggested Magnosaurus and Eustreptospondylus were the same because the lower jaws were similar, and he renamed Eustreptospondylus oxoniensis as Magnosaurus oxoniensis, but not everyone agrees. So again, there's just the type species Magnosaurus nethercomensis. In 2010, Roger Benson found Magnosaurus to be a valid dinosaur based on foramina, a hole in the lower jaw, the dentary. 
Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as Magnosaurus include, of course, Megalosaurus and Duryavenador, which is another theropod that for a while was thought to be Megalosaurus. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.